It's another beautiful day, and to the A to the L to the A. Hi guys, my name is Nala Fetana. I'm from Health by Choice. I am preparing lunch or dinner or supper, however you may like to call it. Um, when I cook all the time, I always play with colors. Colors is my thing. Uh, so as a plant-based chef, I always advise people to, they always ask me, so what do we eat? When we get protein i always explain to them that if you can have seeds in your kitchen you'll never go wrong you'll never have deficiencies especially chia seeds because it's very good for cholesterol it's very good for iron zinc and all other beneficial things that a chia seed has it's just that hard we use chia seeds uh, we, we were using it just like any other seed when you use a chia seed you have to soak it first at least overnight so that that gelatin comes out, then you can use your chia seeds in your smoothies, in your porridge, in wherever you want to use. Or you may soak it in your water and keep on drinking it during the day. And if you're using chia seed, I must warn you, you must drink a lot of water because it may constipate you. Because it's a seed, after all. And when you consume it, it drains the liquid from, 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 from your body. So make sure that you, you 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 drink a lot of water when you're using chia seed okay however let's begin so i'm gonna prepare quinoa red quinoa i'm gonna cook it until it's tender fork and it shouldn't be paperish it shouldn't be thick it should be it should be fluffy and oh guys but quinoa is my favorite thing especially if you want to lose weight make sure that you always buy quinoa in your cupboard so today i've decided on red quinoa actually let me turn my camera and show you a what i've prepared here in my table because it's not friendly i don't have a ring light with me uh, so i'm just going to turn the camera and show you okay, this is what i've prepared guys this is uh, my raw red quinoa uh, it's gluten free so for people who are, people who are gluten intolerant uh, you are allowed to use quinoa it is so good and beautiful okay and then i have got my frozen corn frozen corn i always love it for color purposes and that it should fill you and then i've got my mushroom i haven't decided how am i going to prepare mushroom but i'll see as the video continues i'll wait for inspirations and then i have my green beans i'm gonna make my garlic green beans that being said i have my nutritional yeast flake i sell it at my shop you should come and get it and then i'm gonna use my crushed garlic and i'm gonna use my soya sauce it's no added msg vegan friendly and naturally cholesterol and fat free and then i'm gonna use my 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 veggie seasoning i sell it at healthy by choice okay so i hope guys i'm presenting my food very well and then i'll use my my gekings and i'll use my extra virgin olive oil i've got my onion here i already cut it uh, please forgive me guys i i have to cut my onion and put it inside the bowl i know that and then i've got my veg seasoning ah we make this spicy healthy by choice it has got a lot of dry herbs as you can see the rosemary the chili flakes the apple salt pink himalayan salt and so on and so on and so on and then i have mixture of basil dried basil leaves and coriander leaves oh these are the face i'm gonna use it for my pumpkin i'm gonna roast my butternut squash hmm yes i haven't peeled it i didn't remove any seeds we are just going to eat it as is it is just best to do so and then i've got my bell peppers i can never leave my bell peppers behind whenever i'm preparing food now let's begin so I'm going to rinse my quinoa from the running water. When you're rinsing your quinoa, you should always have a whisk with you. Whisk, the importance of tools in the kitchen. See, I'm rinsing my quinoa. Now I'm going to soak it for two minutes and then uh, drain water and then start cooking it. Okay, I'm going to give you the rules on how to cook it. I'm going to give you the measurements. Don't worry, guys. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Okay, so... And then I'm gonna put this aside for a good five minutes. While we are doing this, let's start preparing our butternut squash. I'm gonna uh, add my extra uh, virgin olive oil. It has to be in a dark bottle, guys. I'm just going to add uh, a little bit of drops, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my mixture of dried herbs and then add it here. And then, okay, 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 I'm trying to stay so that each piece, uh, 
gets oil and the herbs okay okay i know my dish is a bit small i don't have a lot of space however i tried to improvise and use what i have okay so please do bear with me okay the spoon is not working with my butternut squash so i'm opting out for my hand i'm using my hand to smear the oil in the butternut squash so that it is softer it does not burn so how an oil helps with that okay so we're going to control our temperatures and i think we're going to use 180 celsius degrees uh, to bake our butternut squash mm, it's looking good already i don't want it I, I don't want to overcook it or over bake it or over roast it i just want it crunchy i like it crunchy mm. oh the advantage of baking your vegetables by the way you are not using losing any liquid because when you steam vegetables sometimes you don't get the right measurements for water so that's why we end up losing a lot of nutrients so okay guys this is it i've used my hands the touch of my hand then let's try and use since i've used my hands already no need for me to use the silicone brush and then i'm just going to spread the oil but anyway even if you don't spread the oil the heat will automatically spread the oil but i just love a uh, proper things and then we are going to place our bat in it until the tray is full or until the pieces are all put down oh guys we are going to have a very nice supper tonight 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 okay okay so our pumpkin is ready to bake i'm just going to put it straight in the oven and keep on checking it until it is tender fork but i don't want to over roast it as i've mentioned before i want it to be a little bit crunchy because it's gonna be accompanied with quinoa and garlic green beans and mushroom remember guys this is quinoa it has soaked enough five minutes is over and it's time for us to sieve the quinoa and then we start cooking it okay the quinoa is ready to cook so we are going to add water okay okay so uh, it's either you let me show you sorry it's either you let the water cover the quinoa or use these measurements one cup of quinoa is two one and a half cups of water one cup of quinoa is two one and a half cups of water and then cook with low heat low heat i'm not making a mistake okay the quinoa is covered let's do number three okay now let's prepare our green beans we are running out of time but we are just going to take our rinsed green beans inside the pot okay so this is the pot and then we're going to take a uh, boiled water uh, just for them to steam nicely uh, if you don't like to steam green beans this way you can use a machine steamer and then you add uh, boiling water okay okay it's just that i don't have lemon otherwise i always cook my green beans with a little bit of lemon so that they do not change that color or lose that greenish freshest color that fresh green color um i'm gonna boil this for five minutes i want them to be crunchy i don't want to overcook them you know the the, the, the art of cooking vegetables is to make sure that you do not overcook them all the time it's that way it's always perfect <laughs> The kina is ready. Is ready. The quinoa 
is ready. Your seasoning of choice, but I'm gonna use my vegetable seasoning. Oh, it's so wonderful! It's ready, so I'm going to drain water and start eating. I'm making this sauce for my mushroom. If you like it, I'm gonna eat it now. Mmm, something meaty but plant based. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I love it this way. So I'll have to remove it from the heat. And then, hmm. Okay, I'm going to give it a nice stir. Um, I think I'm going to do this for a good three to five minutes and then it will be ready. And then I'm gonna add kima in this mixture. My nutritionalist flake, my olive oil. And my veggie seasoning, and then we are good to go. Okay, we're about to finish. So hang in there. I know it's been a long day, and probably a longest video I've ever watched on YouTube. But don't worry, it's still educational. Okay, the pumpkin is ready. Let me grab a piece. I hope I don't burn. <laughs> oh, it's so hot, but nice. Soft and nice. Well seasoned and carefully cooked. <laughs> okay, the green beans are ready and they are drained. So what you are going to do, we are going to add olive oil in this stage because they have cooled down and just a little bit of olive oil and then we are going to add our that veggie seasoning and then i'm gonna add a little bit of pinky malayan salt garlic powder onion powder and nutritional flake so this is our pink salt just a pinch just a pinch okay that should be enough and then we're going to add our onion powder we sell it guys i'm promoting my brand as well so I'm just eating it a bit okay and then we are going to add our nutritional display I also sell it just contact me and then I'm gonna add my garlic powder garlic powder it's also branded I sell it garlic it has to be a bit more because it's garlic green beans okay I didn't want to be obvious and use the crushed garlic besides I've already used it with other uh, sides so yeah let's stir and then we'll show you the final results 